A one-month-old baby stopped breathing. How a hero knew the exact moment he was needed most. This guy came out of nowhere and just scooped the baby up and really knew what he was doing. Well, that Post Falls baby is alive tonight, thanks to a mechanic and his smartphone. KXY4's Jeff Humphrey has tonight's incredible story. And Jeff, this Pulse Point app dispatches people trained in CPR to nearby cardiac arrest cases? Uh, Nadine, that's exactly how Jeff Olson, who works as a master technician here at Perfection Tire, learned about this baby in distress. Pulse Point, the app, it knew based on information on Jeff's phone through CPS that he was only about two blocks from the emergency. So the app sent him the notification and then this veteran EMT sprang into action. It started inside this Spokane shop that sells ballet slippers and tutus. The location of your emergency. 131 South Sherman. Is that still the Empire Dance Shop? Yes. Store clerk Leslie Record heard that a baby was turning blue and called 911. So when you hear that, you just pick up the phone and call 911. So I did that and I saw her and she just was saying he's not breathing, he's not breathing. Leslie, a former lifeguard, put one-month-old Nolan on the ground and began rescue breathing. Meanwhile, two blocks away, master technician Jeff Olson was working on a car when his cell phone went off. And it sounded like an amber alert, you know, how they come out. And so I looked at it and it said CPR needed and it gave the address. And so Olson, who's a volunteer EMT for Deer Park Ambulance, left his garage and raced to the dance shop. I asked the lady who was standing outside, have you got a medical emergency here? And she said, yeah, it's an infant. He's blue. And I said, you know, you just kind of suck up a little bit and, and this this guy came out of nowhere and just scooped the baby up and really knew what he was doing which was just such a blessing to all of us also knew his life-saving skills were needed because he had registered his phone with the pulse point app while fire paramedics were still several minutes away the app put Olson in the right place at the right time to keep Nolan alive I don't think I've ever done CPR on an infant before or even rescue breathing and it was uh, when I got done I shook for about 10 minutes. What happened to Nolan is the very first save since the Spokane Fire Department connected the Pulse Point to its dispatch center. The real benefit and the reason why we are so invested in this technology is because you can be a lifesaver. This is one of the only apps that, that you can download if you know CPR you could actually save somebody's life. And Nadine, there are so many of us out there that know how to do CPR and these days just a hundred chest compressions per minute can have a huge impact on their successful recovery. So if you'd like to learn more about this app, which is free and how Pulse Point works, we have put up a link to their website at kxly.com. Meanwhile, while baby Nolan, he's recovering at a local hospital. Reporting in Spokane, I'm Jeff Humphrey.